What's up guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. This is part 4 on how to make a knife hit game on Scratch. And in this video, we'll be looking at how to make the apples and the you died screen. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So here... Started. So here's the code from last time, and if you haven't seen parts 1 through 3 yet, you can check them out, links in the description. But anyways, first, we are going to duplicate the other knife sprite, since the apples will be similar to the other knives. So we can go ahead and name this apples, and we can get an apple costume. So, lucky for us, um... Scratch already has an apple for us, so we don't have to make one ourselves. So there's the apple, and then all we're going to do is just make this smaller, because right now it's too big. And just control X, and delete that cost costume, and we can control V. So... First of all, let's put this in the center, and what you want to do is to make sure that the apple is lined up with the log, so that it looks like the apple's actually on the log. So we can put it right around there, we can turn it a little bit, and there's your apple. So you can just make it for some other levels. What you can do is, since apples, if you put them out in the open, they're easy to hit. So try to make it close to a knife so that if the player accidentally hits the knife, it'll be game over. So that's how you make it a little bit hard. So now you just need to do these levels. So here are the levels complete. And let's move on from that and actually get to Cody. So the first thing we're going to do is in the green flag sprite, we're going to put the code there. So let's go to control, drag an if statement. And of course, we're going to put a touching mouse or t a touching knife. So if touching knife, we're going to change a variable, which will be our points. So right now we don't have a variable. But of course, we can make one. So I'm going to call this apple count since it's going to be counting the apples. Make sure it's for all sprites. And we can change the apple count by one. So in the backdrops where we set up our all, set up all of our variables, we can set it to zero. So back into the apple sprite, it's going to change apple count by one. And then the apples will disappear. Also, by the way, I just realized this, but don't add multiple apples like what I did, because right here, it says hide, and what that'll do is hide the whole sprite. So if you just sh um, shoot a knife and it'll hit one apple, all other three apples would disappear. So actually, only put one, and maybe in a future tutorial, I'll show you guys how to add more apples. So right now, just delete any apples that you put. Um, delete any apples more than one over here. Alright, so that's the code done. We can go ahead and test this out. And it's really simple. All I need to do is just hit an apple. Um, if I can. Okay, there we go. An apple hit. So there are no apples on. Actually, there is an apple. Although I just forgot to put a high. I mean, a show. Right there. Okay. So now, apples are now in the game. And we can put a show there too. So the next thing I want to do is add the game over, because right now 
if you know in the knife hit game, if you accidentally shoot a knife that's already on the log, then of course it'll be game over. So like that. So we're going to do that. So in the other knife sprite, we're going to put an if statement in the um, right here. So if touching knife, then we're going to stop all. So that's the simple, but we can go even further and broadcast a game over screen. So that's our game over, and we're going to stop other scripts in Sprite, and we're going to stop, um, yeah, just other scripts in Sprite. So, in the log sprite, we're going to drag a when I receive game over, and we're going to put a hide and a stop other scripts in sprite, just in case if other scripts are still running. And we'll put, we'll drag this in the other sprites, like the knife, knife sprite. And also, this sprite actually has clones, so what you can do is delete all the clones. So, you can do this trick, where you can do a repeat one time, and delete all clones. Delete this clone. Because this has, like, you can't put any block underneath it, so you can use a repeat loop to put a block underneath. So like that. And in the apple sprite. So I'll just drag this in here. And there it is. All we need to do is just delete this, because the Apple Sprite doesn't have any clones. And yeah. So now all we need to do is just create a backdrop for Game Over. So you can literally just put Game Over. And, but if you want to be all fancy and stuff, you can design an actual backdrop. But I'm just going to keep it simple for now and just put Game Over. And I'll just rename this game over. So, when the green flag is clicked, it's always going to be the normal white backdrop. But, when it's game over, it's going to be the game over backdrop. So yeah, we can go ahead and test this out. So we're on the next level. And we can shoot a knife, and it's game over. Yep, I forgot to put the stop this script. You actually do need to stop this script. Like that. And then we can test it again. Whoops, let's put a show. And a show. Now. It will work. And it's game over. So, yes, this is a bug. Well, Alright, so I found the bug, and it's very simple. You don't need to go ahead and change L, the code. All you need to do is just switch this to a stop all, and everything should be fine. Alright, as you can see, it's the next level, and yeah. One more thing. I need to change is that as you can see the levels if you haven't noticed already is changing by t 2 because we have a changed level by 1 here and we also have a changed level by 1 here so all you need to do is just delete one of the changed levels so now we have a working knife hit game so yeah but anyways that's over today I hope you enjoyed it leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already only a small percent of viewers who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you enjoy the content, please make sure to subscribe, it's free, and you always can change mine later. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.